Well, the consolation prize might have to be the Doak Walker Award that goes to the best running back in the country. But if there's a lot of guys better than him, I haven't seen him this year. As such sudden movements and running behind his pads, it's really been a joy to watch this year. Strong, just contact balance, strong, run through arm tackles, best tailback in the country. <laughs> that was, it was fun. Not a lot of guys can do this and that and this and that. This season was competitive and unforgettable. If you are passionate about sports, you must love college football. Mike, it's time for history to be made. The winner is... We are back with another video, man. Y'all know the thumbnail by the title. Can your boy Kareem win the Heisman Trophy with these last three or four games left of his sophomore season? Can he win the Heisman Trophy? Will he do enough where he can help contribute to this team winning the national championship? That question will be answered in this video, man. So watch the video all the way through. We are taking on UCLA. They are coming in at 8-1. Number 11 in the country. We are still undefeated thanks to this high-powered offense. Thanks for this quarterback, the receivers, and of course, yours truly, your boy Kareem. And this is why it's hard to stop this offense. Right here, just a back-and-forth, back-and-forth shootout. And right here, not a good decision by the quarterback. Up until that point, man, we were firing on all cylinders. But, you know, your boy Kareem going to put the team on his back, bro. He gonna put the team on his back. Ain't no need to finish this highlight. He ended up scoring. So fourth quarter, man, they took us out the game. First and 10, dunk it all to the receiver. And that is a first down. You love to see it. All right, first and 10. Hand off of the middle, first and 10. Your boy, he, your boy gonna lower the shoulder, bro. He definitely gonna lower the shoulder. Second and go to read option. Touchdown, and we end up taking the lead as we end up going ahead and winning that game. We are taking on 5-5 five and five Oregon here in this snowy condition. This kid is used to this kind of weather, being that he's from Montana. And right here, good play, get heads up by the defense, bro. This high power offense, bro. We are struggling. He's three, got three points at this point. It's six points. So you got to tip your head out to the Oregon State defense. And right here, we was one shoestring tackle away from breaking it. Taking it to the crib. Good play by the DB right there. We are struggling right now. Deep into the third quarter, bro. We only got six points. But our starting the quarterback is out. So our backup gonna come in and do his thing. He's definitely gonna make the most of his opportunities. Second and two. A draw play, your boy Kareem takes that for a first down to keep the drive alive. Fourth quarter action, bro. We need to score on this possession. As we call him for the rock first down. And a whole lot more. Let's go. Third and goal. Hand off to your boy Kareem. And we extend the lead. But they come bouncing right back, bro. We only up by three. So we need to. This is probably one of the most crucial, crucialest drives of the game. But we need a touchdown. Not no field goal. We need a touchdown to put a stamp on this game. And Colt decided to put the ball in Kareem's hand, the best player on the team, the best player in the nation. First and 10 to read option. Bro, look at the back of quarterback, bro. If he don't, bro, look at that, bro. If he don't score on that play, we would definitely lose our perfect record. Kind of a big day, but not really. But we end up getting the win, man. This is the... A rivalry game against Washington State Cougars, bro. We up. Uh, no, we actually down. My apologies. 14 to 3. If y'all noticed, bro, these last couple of games, bro, we have definitely been a struggle the past two games. I feel like this team is starting to figure out this team's formula, bro. You slow down Kareem, you pretty much got a chance. And right here, good play by the defensive end. These last few games, bit of a struggle, bro. It's been a dog fight, and we had to fight for everything. Last two games, we come out with a win, and it definitely wasn't blowout. It definitely was not a blowout. So, I think teams are starting to put together the formula to try to beat us and upset the number one team in the nation. And up until that point, bro, we had 65 rushing yards. 
that long carry put us on a buck 31 so they was pretty much had this kid in check man like i say they pretty much figuring out the formula to slow try to slow this team down but luckily enough you, you got to do more than just slow kareem down you feel me but once he gets going like this this team is unbeatable man and right here good vision right there go <laughs> with your lower the shoulder take a look at the instant replay good blocking by the offense line if it wasn't for the offensive line, this dude would not have the stats that he has. Bro, look at the size of that running lane, bro. Good block by number 76 right there, one-on-one -on -one with the safety. And that's the end results you're going to get trying to tackle this dude, man. First and goal, we up by a touchdown. We extend that lead by two scores. Bro, 240, 20 carries, three rushing touchdown. Really didn't get it much going through the air, but that game you know shows that he can carry the load as far as rushing bro pac 12 championship game number seven ucla they seen that 10 and two we beat them a couple of games ago so hopefully you know in the last game it was a bit of a dog fight at first but we taking this game personal back to a pac 12 championship 77 ball game and we break that tie but they go right down and score so I know I don't know what it is about this team, bro. We just going trading blow for blow, bro. Punches for punches, haymakers for haymakers, bro. Screen pass, second and nine. We take that screen pass and we pick up a first down, second and nine. But we, you know, winning that game. Look at the stats right there. And your boy truly has won the Heisman Trophy, bro. Ran away with it with the first place votes. But like I say, if it wasn't for the offensive line. He would not have had a Heisman Trophy, but coming into this game versus Michigan, bro, the number two overall defense. They got a good solid team, bro, but we got the Heisman Trophy, but this is the reason why they got a good team, bro. Blake Corm, look at the stats on this dude, man. It just, it's incredible, but we shall see if they can slow this kid down, but first possession of offense, bro, and this is how it's going to go. Michigan got a long way to go to stop this kid. Second and five counter. Let's go. Lower the shoulder. First down. Gain of 11 on the play. Second and 10, bro. You got to pitch that, bro. Bro, you got to pitch that. Third and fourth. So we call him for the rock, but he ended up getting sacked. First and 10. Quick strike across the middle. And that is a first down. But they took us out of the game, bro. And they scored a 49 yard touchdown pass. So we up 10 to nothing at this point. Third and six, playing protection. Good throw, good strike. And that is good. McMillan for 19, bro. Look at the, bro. Coach really must trust these players, bro. Fourth down, fourth and four, the national championship game. We convert as a tight end picks up 10 and extend his drive. First and 10. You know your boy got getting on an action. We tried to step back, but that did not work. We in the Wildcat formation. Good blocking by the offensive line of receivers. And that's going to swing your boy Kareem in for the touchdown to extend this lead. But the defense gave up a touchdown. I was hoping we can get the shutout, but we catch that pass out of the base when that's good for 10. Second and five. Back to back catches. Let's go. That's good for 17. Third and three. 30 seconds left. Oh, nice catch. Get out of bounds. Say them timeouts. Smart play by your boy Kareem. Second and three. Good throw. Good strike. And that is first and goal. And what a throw, baby. McMillan. A touchdown here in this championship game. We up 24 to 7. Good play by the defense right there. As Kareem goes for negative three. First and 10. Kind of dialed up our own route, but we spin and we get 14 on the play. Second and 14, but we came in this game prepared, man. Definitely prepared. One-on-one -on -one with the cornerback, bro. <laughs> it's, that's just the results you're going to get. And we end up winning a national championship game, bro. Bringing a championship back to Washington. It's been about 30 some plus years since they won in real life. I believe like 91 since they last 90 91 92 and within that era so it's definitely a good feeling to bring a championship back to washington can we win back to back next year stay tuned to find out but for the first time in his two years bro he's been held under 100 
rushing yards and 100 receiving yards. But we still got it done, man. But it's your boy, Sir 8, logging on to next season. See y'all, man.